Well, some are calling it a miracle in Barnstall. 2 News Oklahoma's Brody Myers brings us inside one of the few buildings in the tornado's path that survived. The priest at St. Mary's Church hopes this brings hope and strengthens faith. When Father Emmanuel Naduga looks outside his church, he sees destruction. He's standing inside one of the few buildings left in the path. Save some window and roof damage, St. Mary's Church was spared. No, I'm not surprised. God is in charge. God is in control. So I would I be surprised? Crews built this stone hall of worship back in the 30s. For decades, Barnsdall neighbors have heard the gospel at this place on the corner of 2nd and Chestnut. I was impressed with our little church. Robert Axum has lived in town for 38 years and for the last 10 has served as deacon at the church. He walked me through the sanctuary and said some debris made it inside, but the altar was untouched. It just looked like God put up his hand and stopped it. Naduka saw it for the first time on Tuesday. So then when I saw it and I knelt down and, you know, in adoration to the Lord, and I said, thank you for everything. Crews are busy getting some of the minor damage cleaned up inside because Sunday they're going to have mass. He hopes it'll be a nice break from the work, and he'll remind parishioners of this. We as, you know, Christians, you know, should rely on God every time. You know, God is the only reason why we're here on earth. Outside God, life has no meaning. I'm, I believe in that strongly, and that's why, you know, I'm a priest today. Until then, that cross will look over the Oklahomans rebuilding the rest of town. Reporting in Barnsdall, Brody Myers, 2 News, Oklahoma.